Welcome to the first of two modules where we talk about corporate strategy. Now this is in distinction with business strategy which focuses on how one organizes a business to address a particular market or set of markets that that business was formed to address. Corporate strategy takes a step back, a step kind of higher in the hierarchy and looks at things like, are we in the right business? What businesses might we enter? How might we use some of the things that we are able to do well, some of our special capabilities in different markets more broadly, more broadly in terms of the businesses and also, as we've talked about in other modules, international subsidiaries and the like. This is a, uh, an important topic which is in the planning departments, the corporate strategy departments of many of the larger corporations, but even smaller corporations and family businesses that try to understand where they should be putting their business energy, their business acumen, their resources and their capabilities in order to maximize value for the shareholders. In this first part, we'll look at what business, what, excuse me, corporate strategy is and how it's different than this individual business unit strategy. We'll talk about how that, how we think differently about it and what some of the options are. And then in part two, which is another, another series of lectures on this same topic, we'll look at how one evaluates a business that has a corporate strategy, a portfolio of businesses, if you will, how you evaluate the fit of those businesses and how well that, that particular firm is likely to operate uh, going forward and how it will perform going forward. So we'll start here in this lecture with an overview of this challenge. And as I mentioned, it is distinct from business strategy. Business strategy is where we look at things like the five forces model, or we look at things um, like the, um, the strategic groups or whatever, where a particular business is competing, how it competes, if you will. Um, this is different. This particular view, when we look at the corporate strategy, we're thinking about how one might enter new markets, picking industries that are attractive, not just because of their market potentials, but because of things you do well. If you're particularly good at software development, for example, although you may be doing software for Apple platforms, you may say to yourself, we have the skills, the technology, the resources, the people that can enter into other markets and do perhaps enterprise software development. You do that analysis before, of course, you launch into that business. So you're looking for industries that you think are very interesting and important. And you look at things that can leverage the kinds of things that you do well, as I mentioned before. Could be you have uh, significant skills in, sale, in sales or marketing. You might have a strong brand. You can leverage those kinds of resources into other opportunities in other industries or other businesses. You might also be able to figure out, have to, you might have to also figure out what your priorities are in terms of investments because one of the problems that one faces in a corporate strategy perspective is that the whole world essentially has opportunities of all different types and you have to decide which ones you're going to focus, where you're going to put your management resources, your skills resources, but also your financial resources. And then initiating actions to actually build and work the portfolio, change the portfolio over time. We're not thinking here about how well a particular business is performing in the industry, although of course that's an important input Business strategy is an input to corporate strategy. If your businesses are performing well, that's one thing. If they're performing other, otherwise, then you have to make decisions about whether you just restructure them or improve them or sell them, divest them, or even shut them down or liquidate in some cases. But this is a different model. This isn't looking at how the business itself is performing, but it's looking at how all the businesses that you have are performing and how one goes about improving or balancing or taking advantage of opportunities more broadly as a portfolio of business opportunities that one uses and moves and, uh, and, and uh, takes advantage of going forward. Some of the things that one can think about, you're very good at one business, for example. You've done a really good job of growing uh, some, perhaps a local uh, real estate investment business. You decide you might want to think about expanding into other areas, maybe just into different regions. Maybe you want to go into commercial real estate versus uh, residential real estate. 
So it's broadening potentially the scope of your diversification you might think about doing. Or maybe you do some of your own construction. You, you're very good at renovation, repairs, those kinds of construction type of activities. You might decide to move into a construction operation. And then you find that it's not working. Perhaps after years, you've moved into different areas, and certain parts of your business aren't working. And you decide that you're going to shut those areas down. Maybe you shut down your residential construction business, for example, if you're doing extremely well in commercial real estate and real estate construction and those kinds of things in commercial markets, you might decide that you're better off focusing your energy and your resources into the um, commercial business and shut down, divest, sell perhaps your local business. And then you may decide that you want to completely restructure how your business goes, works going forward and maybe sell off an entire section, perhaps all of the real estate or the residential business and move more heavily into commercial or vice versa, whatever. Corporate strategy is about deciding which of these directions to go, how to go about doing those sorts of things and making the right decisions, not for a business which has to operate. They need a strategy too, but that's not what we're worrying about here. We're assuming all the businesses have a strategy, but we're now deciding is how we mix and match the businesses that we own and we operate to get the most value for the buck. And that's what we'll talk about next in the next lecture here. We'll talk about how you actually build value through this diversification process. We'll see you then.